Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan Generation 3 video. So here we are looking at the brand new Generation 3 Baku 10 featuring a special attack Manted. Now if you remember a while ago, this was the first product we've seen leaked for the new generation. Uh, this was back when we thought, hey, maybe this is part of Bakugan, like evolutions or the reboot still but no this is officially gen 3 i found this in the wild at a barnes and noble my local barnes and noble and i'm pretty excited about this so as you can see here we've got the front featuring manted uh the special attack manted the lovely generation 3 logo here how to assemble it uh bug faction here as you can see pretty awesome let me go ahead and do a flip here so we've got manted you can see how to assemble him, uh, the fact that he spins 36 millimeters, got the back on Battle League on Roblox. It actually gives his power here, which is pretty interesting. Uh, not sure what the goal is there or how that works. I still am trying to figure out the game. Uh, here we have, looks like a bull Bakugan, Hammerhead, and then again the logo and that lovely like metallic on the tin there. Uh, here we have the Baku tin, and then we see the special attack Bakugan, and then it says includes these things. So we have a rip cord, looks like half a card, two gate cards or two metal cards of some kind, and then the Bakugan parts, which can be split apart and taken and switched around. Again, on the side here, we have Trox and then some other Bakugan, which I'm not quite sure could be Ventry, maybe not too sure yet and then come back around so there's that and then we have the back here which of course has everything you see all the warnings and stuff like that all that good stuff what it includes again and then as you can see here barnes and noble i bought this for 26.99 after tax it was about it was close to 30 dollars. it was like 29 and some change um that's a lot of money I ain't even gonna lie, that is a lot of money for this. Um, we will see if it ends up being worth that much in the end. So let's go ahead and get the uh, clear wrap off. Go ahead and do a little snip here. I'm gonna try and keep everything intact because I'd like to just pop this back together later and maybe display it. All right, let's get this sucker open. Now this also, as you can see from this image, also functions as a battle arena. So we're definitely gonna give that a try too. But for now, let's go ahead and peel it open and see what's inside. And then I would like to keep this intact because it's actually a pretty cool uh, pretty cool piece of like marketing paper. I like the design on it. Let's see if I can actually get it off safely. All right, so 10, let's do it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Got the stadium piece, I guess. Obviously, you can put the card in the middle, I think. Oh, it's kind of sloped as well. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like it slopes into the middle here. Let's take a look at that here in a little bit. We'll leave that to the side. And then now, let's see what we got in here. So, Ripcord, Bakugan, but then also spaces to put two more Bakugan. Interesting. Okay. I don't know the best way to get this open is. All right, well, look at that. So there's actually room for double storage, which is convenient. So I guess as long as you have this plastic, you can keep them in without them popping open because obviously this tin's metal. Like any, any Bakugan's going to pop open on it. So the fact that they actually supply you with these tins with this little plastic is really, that's really cool. So you can keep all your Bakugan in it without worrying they'll pop open. Convenient storage. Let's go ahead and put this piece back in there. Set this to the side over there. Let's take a look at the piece de resistance. All right, here we have the rip cord. Looks exactly like the one I got in the other video reviewing the battle arena. If you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend you check it out. Gives you a good feel for what generation three is all about. Uh, we've got cards. Two different uh, swappable spinning pieces. Okay. And then we have Manted. Interesting. Let's close him up really quick. Well, we'll leave him as is for now. Take a look at him here in a second. Let's 
take a look at these cards really quick. Make sure we know what we've got. All right, so we've got a collect them all poster. Nothing on the back, just uh, just this. But we can visit Bakugan.com Bakugan to see the full collection, maybe scanning this QR code here. I'll actually leave that for you guys if you want to try and scan it on your own phone. Uh, right there. And yeah, it features Dragon Oil. It looks like Nilius. I really like to get my hands on a special attack Nilius. But then you have all the different factions. So we know Misfit and Dragon Clan. Other than that, we're not sure. Probably Animal Clan. Uh, they're still being teased. And here we have our cards. So we've got Manted right there. And then his bottom piece, which is Flare Axe and Smash Hammer. Again, we've seen this leaked, but these can combine like so. Not too sure if these make a picture or not, but here are the gate cards I got. Uh, it doesn't look like they quite connect. Here's a lovely back of them, this beautiful card design. That is the best gate card design I have ever seen. Oh, it looks so good. I really would like one of the, um, they make like little clips for these cards because these are just made of like paper. I feel like they're going to fall apart. Uh, so yeah, nice gold there. It's pretty nice. I like that. All right. So these are like the new battle gear type stuff. So we've got, I believe this is flare hacks has to be. And then this one, not too sure what it's called, but it looks cool. I don't know if I have names for these yet. They didn't really give me names, but this can go on Manted. So Manted's right here, little feet. And then it looks like something in the background, which I haven't managed to get, ah, there we go. Huh, so little feet. <laughs> That's kind of cute, okay. Uh, let's put those all the way up and then let's see if there's anything in the back maybe I can get. Claws come down maybe? Aha, there we go, okay. Yeah, so a little Prey Mantis-like. See what I got there, okay. This seems to be the full design. Uh, as you can see there, the bug logo, looking good. He does look pretty intimidating. He reminds me a lot of uh, Mantris or like Sectinoid and stuff from the reboot. Uh, nice, let's go ahead and pop this piece off. Now this bottom piece should slide off. There we go. Take a look at the actual spinning piece. This was my favorite part of the Battle Arena Dragonoid was that this piece, you can see it's gold on the inside and it spins. Looks good. Doesn't seem like there's any glitter here, but the detail, the attention to detail on this is incredible. Like all the different ridge lines and stuff right there looks really, really good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, we'll put the flare axe on, I guess. I think that's what it's called. It looks like it goes on like this. It only go on one way. Okay, and that is what he looks like. Like so. Let's go ahead and get our tin out. We'll put everything to the side real quick. And now this arena piece should just kind of sit on top like that. Yeah, okay, cool. And then I should just be able to close him up. So let's try doing that. I think he just goes. Maybe he folds into himself. Okay. So very similar style to how Dragonoid actually closes. Everything just kind of folds in and clips down on the bottom. Let's take our ripcord. Stick that in there. Oh, my ripcord's very bent. Okay, ripcord is... Uh... <laughs> Let me get my other one from my Attack Dragonoid. All right, this one's a little bit less bent, but as you can see, it's the same thing. So let's go ahead and three, two, one, brawl. Very cool, okay. And so now if you put these gate cards down, which conveniently fit in that slot. Love that. Uh, he should stand this time. I just want to see him spin. This is really neat. Ah, <laughs> okay. Okay. In some ways, I am really digging. I'm really digging this. Okay, let's swap to the other one. Let's go and put this one on. 
So I wonder how useful the different ones of these are. Like, I wonder if some are considered to be better than others. Let's see how this one looks when he spins. That orange does look pretty good. Okay, let's give it a shot. See how it looks. Taking a long time to spin here. We might need to get Drago out. Oh, there he goes. Cool, okay. And so, here's Special Attack Dragonoid, right? And you can see the difference in how these things are. Like, this one's clearly much bigger. It has more defense around the sides compared to Drago's. So I might actually try and spin these both at the same time. I don't really know how well that's gonna work because it's only me right now. Uh, this is definitely one of those games, especially when you're like spinning these, where you probably want multiple people I'm going to close these up in case they're stopping something, but we'll give it a go. We'll give it our best shot and see if we can actually have them fight. Uh, I haven't looked too much into the game yet. The game tends to, based on where you land in the game, matched with the cards. And I don't have Drago's cards out with me at the moment, but it's based off of these. So say Mantis lands... Uh, at the heart one because he's got the flare axe plus the 500 he would gain 700 I believe that's how it works and so whichever Bakugan has the most at the end of the brawl wins the game so I think that's how that works I may make a whole different video covering that I'm gonna leave that right here just for reference uh, maybe we can bend this out some because it's so so bent Oh, that just made it worse. <laughs> Maybe I could just spin them once at a, one at a time and who knows, we'll see. All right. Drago's coming in. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> okay, so yeah, I don't have Drago's thing, but Drago would have landed in the blue. Manted landed in the blue as well. So I'd add up these blues. Uh, be 400 plus 100 is 500, and that would be the battle. So I don't know what Dragos is, obviously. I'll make a whole other, another, another video covering it. That was actually kind of fun. I want to try and get him to spin at the same time, though. Let me see if I can manage to make that happen. I'm also actually really enjoying this little arena better than the big arena. It... it it sounds kind of dumb, but it's just much more convenient for, like, fast-paced brawls which I appreciate. Uh, let's, let's see, I can't switch this yet. Let's see if I can get both these to rip around the same time. I'm gonna try and get it like, maybe I can do it in one hand and rip them both between my knuckles. Oh, this is not gonna work well. Look at the claw setup I have going on here, okay. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. All right, come on, Jesse. I tried. Hang on, hang on, I can do it. That did not work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, know, that's pretty cool. Let's try one more brawl. We'll do Drago first this time. And Manted. Oh! <laughs> I wonder if they can knock off the actual board. Like, I wonder if they can fly away from the arena. Okay, so Manta did not stand, so I think technically I would have lost that. And Drago stood kind of in the green. So he would get the green gate bonus of whatever his is. So very cool. Nice. That was really fun. Okay. Okay, so the Manted Bakuten. Is it worth it? For $30, I think it's debatable. I really think it's up to you and what you thought of the video. For me personally, I kind of like it. It's good for fast-paced brawls. It, it has decent storage. It can carry up to six Bakugan plus your cards plus your rip cards, which is pretty decent for a 10, and I'm sure you could really pack cards into this. It's a very good, almost like vacation mode arena. This is something small. You can pack it up. You can take it wherever you go. You can keep it in a backpack and pull it out and brawl your friends. 
Uh, it's much more convenient to carry around than any kind of giant arena. Uh, it comes with two different like spin uh, pieces, which is something I didn't expect. I don't remember it saying that on the packaging. Let me do a double check here, but I don't remember it saying that. Um, oh yeah, it does actually say that. It says it right here, I'm just blind. Uh, right there, it says two pieces. Pretty convenient, I think. Uh, the storage is nice. I'm definitely gonna keep all my Generation 3 Bakugan in here. There's no reason not to, and it's just convenient. So I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10, honestly, which is pretty high coming from me, I think. Uh, the card itself is whatever. There's plenty you can switch and, and stuff with. I think you have to use the one you use with the card. Not 100% sure, because this is Flare Axe and Smash Hammer, which is this one. So I'm not sure if this one's different or what's going on there. I don't really know. I'm Again, I'm not very familiar with the game yet. I just have the rules and that's it. This actually didn't come with the rules, so it definitely takes a hit there. Um, all it came was with the Roblox code and then some additional like poster where you can go and check what's like what you can collect. So... A little bit of a disappointment there, however, the battle arena comes with that, so maybe it's just a matter of which is which, uh, like, you know, which one are you actually going to really brawl with, but I don't know. The game in the, you know, everything being released is still being released, so that's the content. Um, take it for what it is. I don't think it's that bad. Mantid's design isn't, you know, incredible, like it's not like, oh, the best backer gone ever, but it's pretty freaking cool. He's really interesting, and I don't know, I think the brawling in this is what really makes it fun. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah, leave a like if you'd like more Generation 3 Bakugan content, because I'm enjoying it. And if you guys are enjoying it too, I'd be more than happy to keep making content for you guys. And with that, my name is Jesse, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.